closer to home, local unions are banding together against budget cuts. They claim city leaders are not doing enough to avoid layoffs. I would assume reporter Nekin Uosu has local coverage from Fall River, where today city workers rallied for change. Teachers and firefighters braved the rain here in Fall River today in hopes of sunnier days to come. Two dozen Fall River firefighters and teachers marched quietly around City Hall, but their posters said it all. And we do need to take that pride citywide, because right now, we don't know if we have pride citywide, do we? Both unions say they're frustrated with contract negotiations with the city. Teachers are being asked to forego their 2% pay raise. Months back, firefighters were asked to take an 8% pay cut. But when they refused, 30% of their staff was laid off. But after manpower concessions, they're still being asked to take an 8% pay cut. Oh, I think that's absolutely unreasonable. And I mean, uh, while he says that uh, it's a shared sacrifice, I'd like to know what, what positions in his administration that he's, uh, he's let go or what, what concessions he made. I took a 10% pay cut because I believe in leadership by example. How could I ask other people to take a pay cut if I wasn't doing it myself? Mayor Correa also says he's asked the firefighters union several times to reach a contract agreement both sides can agree on. Since July 1st, we were waiting for acceptable dates to sit down and enter into the collective binding process, and we're going to continue doing that. Until then, unions will continue fighting and marching. Both unions are encouraging everyone to vote in the primary elections September 15th. With the Mobile Newsroom here in Fall River, I'm Naka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.